We right. want to find some garlic mustard that's in the shade because we don't want it going up to flower. We want the roots and we want that good pungency in the roots, right? Mm. So we're going to say, hey, garlic mustard, would you be willing to give me your root, please? Ooh, Ooh very nice. No stick. <laughs> no stick. So see if a garlic mustard would give you its root. Okay, there's a bunch of it here. There's more over here, too. Okay. Isn't it? Can I do it? You did. Really? Is there a root on it? I, I, I'm not sure. There I is. I didn't tear it. No, you did oh, good. Oh, thanks. It's all right there. Yay. <laughs> nice. Yay. <laughs> this room in there. The pricker bushes. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at this one. It's it is, huh? Yeah. Alright, so the roots just come right out if you ask them, huh? Yeah. Ah, plants like to play with the people. They're happy. Oh, look at this beautiful one she got there, huh? <coughs> really nice. Oh, ho, ho, beautiful. Mom. Look at I like it, Monica Jean. Yay, Good garlic one. Mustard root. Yeah. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Can you hold right. Monica Jean? Uh -huh. Thank you. I'm We're going to take them inside and rinse the dirt off once Hide everybody up. gets yeah. one. Was it, was it pretty easy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the second right. one was big. Oh, oh, I Mama told me I could yeah. have yeah. it. Oh. There you go. Yay. Yeah, oh, oh, mother. Well, <laughs> I was impressed with mine, but yours is way better. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. I got a big one. Yeah, look at that. Long and thick, too. Looks like she's got a huge stump and not such a big one. Okay. Let's go rinse them off. <laughs> that was kind of exciting. Oh, yeah. Here, look. I'll show it to you before I delete it. See, it's actually quite a nice picture. <laughs> there you go. See, I deleted it. It's gone now. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. People. <laughs> then I went, oh no, I took a picture. <laughs> it's this thing about digital images. I know, so you if you <laughs> don't want it, what do you do? Pull, Pull it up, butter. root and all. Mm -hmm. Because the gardener's best revenge is to eat the weeds. <laughs> Made some pretty nasty pesto with this. Come on, Mom. Every single Hey, we're going into the house to make a vinegar, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Look at all this. It's just really bitter. Super bitter. Yeah. But. Wow. 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 Smells so good in there now. Now suppose you're going out to plant your garden and you find a whole bunch of garlic mustard in your garden and you say, out, out, out. I want you out. I need to plant my garden. And you harvest it all. You pull it all up by the roots because you're going to eat it and you say, uh-oh. Now what am I going to do with all of that? Because you've got so much garlic mustard and garlic mustard root. Well, do you see how these roots are in water, but the leaves aren't in water? Mm -hmm. This will stay good as a salad green like this for eight days. Cool. All right, so you just tub it up. You pull it all out of the garden. You plant your garden, and you tub it up with a little water, and it thinks it's still growing. Right? And if you put it in the sun, it'll stay green. If you keep it inside, it'll turn yellow because it can't make chlorophyll. But it'll stay green for a long, long time if it has even a little bit of sunlight and this water. And we're just going to get the soil off of our roots. And that wasn't even very hard now, was it? Because it's not that much on 
fun then. Okay. It looks fun on mine. Right. One of the trips that I took to Costa Rica, um, we took a whole group of people and we were primarily interested in agriculture. And we went to a huge variety of different places in the week we were there. One of the places we went to was the place that figured out how to grow organic vanilla. And this was a big deal. Because if you have a product with vanilla in it, lots of products have vanilla in it, and it's not organic, you can't label the product organic. Mm -hmm. So it really has to be 100% organic. And vanilla, of course, is the only orchid that we eat. And orchids are notoriously difficult to grow. And so we went to this place and they talked about, you know, well, first of all, we knew that the orchid needed a lot of soil fertility. So we planted these little trees that were in the legume family, in the pea and bean family. And they enriched the soil. And then we planted the vanilla orchid to come up those little trees. So the soil was really good, but they still couldn't quite get it to, like, thrive. And they kept trying, you know, this compost and that compost. And finally they read about some soil bacteria mix from Japan, which they bought, which had something like 800 different soil bacteria in it. When they put that in the soil, that's when they could get their organic vanilla. And they've uh, since, you know, kind of like, you know, made a way of doing it and then sold that to other people for organic vanilla. So soil microorganisms help things grow. And I think that soil microorganisms are one of the missing pieces in health for modern humans. That we are not getting enough soil organisms in our diet. What did we do with our salad greens before we ate them? Nothing. Nothing. We put them in the bowl with all those soil microorganisms on them, right? So when I say you can't get any nutrition from your salad, people sometimes say, well, why do you serve salad? I said, for the bacteria. Hmm. We're eating that salad for the bacteria that you're getting. Right? Not for any nutrition that you're getting from it. And that's why I always eat my salad last. I eat all my nourishing food first, and then the salad comes at the end. However much room I have for salad, that's how much salad I eat, because that's where I'm going to get the least possible nourishment, mm. is from that salad. So we want to eat the other food. But it sure tastes first. good. Sure does. Mm -hmm. So the tops of this could go in our vinegar. Or we can cook them. Oh. This makes a really tasty cooked.